That's a very good question. I think ultimately the problem is, is that, that even though there are warning signs, there are telltale signs, everything that I was talking about before, people who are quite isolated and marginalised, perhaps not interacting with yeah. the public. The problem is there's so many people like that mm -hmm. and only a very, very small proportion mm -hmm. actually go on to commit such atrocious yeah. crimes. So I, I think it's really difficult. It's, it, it's possible to spot the signs. But having resources within the community to be able to track and, and watch these people. Absolutely. And something else which, I, which we've not yet touched on is mental health issues. Yeah. So we know that about two thirds of gunmen in America who commit these mass shootings have some sort of mental health issue. But then again, 50 percent of Americans do anyway. So there is a statistical uh, lean towards this, but it's not that big. And of those people, about 10 to 15 percent are actually driven by the mental illness. So they'll have, they'll hear voices or they'll have psychotic delusions. These are exactly the kind mm. of patients that I assess. But again, it's about spotting it early enough and enforcing or encouraging treatment.